Monday type practice, watch a lot of film, try to get over the game films and all that, give them Sunday and Monday off. So hopefully we get to heal up this week and get a lot better fundamentally and working on some of our future opponents. We'll go. How Questions? Is, how's Bobo? Got just sore, not practicing. See the day to day, see when his foot, how his foot heals and see what happens. As far as this, just the practice and the flow, I mean, how did, what did you think of things today? I mean, did it go okay, the way you wanted? Okay, very average. We didn't have, we weren't out here very long. We spent extra time in the film room to get through all the film and all the stuff we wanted to do. And didn't want to make today. I'm going to give them Sunday, a little bit of Monday, Tuesday, and then we'll go hard Wednesday. So we'll go really hard next two days. Especially with Clemson right around the corner, does the bye week like this present the opportunity to maybe add some new wrinkles to the playbook? Well, I don't know. If you, ain't a lot of wrinkles you add. You don't go adding. I mean, you may put plays in for games and things like that, but you are who you are. Is this more about cleaning up? Oh, yeah, without that. Go watch film. Plays all over the field. 50 points on the board. Just go execute. Base things. Urban said that Charles Kelly was pretty big in his uh, improvement so quick at defensive back. What exactly you know, was Charles coach him? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's his position coach, just making sure he understands it and doing a good job. Charles does a good job explaining and, and talking to guys. He, he, does, he understands what he's doing, and Urban's picked him up very well. I said Urban seems more natural at safety. What makes him more natural there? I don't know, just reacting, mm-hmm. more instinctive. Uh, Seeing things, pulling the pin, you know what I mean? Just, and he's relaxing. And sometimes you got to have that. You got to have a change in life. Say, all right, all right, I've lost that, so what's the big deal? Now I relax and play. And all of a sudden, you start making plays. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, I mean, all right, I, I, you show up tight sometimes. Well, I want to play this, I want to play that. And then all of a sudden, you just relax and worse things happen. All right, I got a change of position. Let me just relax and play. And all of a sudden, the game becomes easy. And that's, sometimes that's part of it. You just got to turn it loose. Had a position change for him ever come across your mind before he, he reached out yeah. to you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure have. Of course, we talk about Bobo, but who are some of the other guys that have kind of benefited from a few days off and maybe look a little bit more All fresh? of them. I mean, all of them. I mean, they all need time off. I mean, it's seven weeks. It's been hard. You had camp and you had just three games in 12 days right off the bat, and you got into seven weeks in a row. And, I mean, it's been a long time. I mean, it's just it's just, it's just everybody this time of year. I mean, it really does. What's been the latest on Derwin's recovery and his progress? No, right where he's at. He's doing good. But that's just a time thing. I mean, they don't. there's no way you can look at it and see. you got to judge it. So, I mean, it's just – timetable and doctors and what they'll do. So it's one of those things where for like Clemson it's just a kind of big question mark as far as he's concerned? Or? Yeah, oh, it, nothing says he's going to play there. Okay. You hey, said, go ahead, Jared. That's no, right, go Chris. On Saturday you said you needed to review the film regarding past pro issues. What did you take away from the review? Different thing. I mean, we broke down a couple times tight end, a couple times running back, uh, O-line two or three times. I mean, I just sometimes got one time we, we just got confused on the protection, which they should have didn't see the mics, didn't see a blitz, the guy didn't see him come back. The rest of them just physically, you know, just bad set technique. A lot of times people talk about playing with a, a chip on your shoulder, and it's been kind of a while since people were, were down on this program. Do you think that actually affects how a, a player might prepare or practice or, or actually play? I don't understand what you mean. Like, teams are always trying to manufacture a, like a chip on their shoulder. Like, at least going into this game, a lot of people are going to be thinking, it's been a while since. Not many people have given Florida State a chance. Do you think players actually listen to that and it actually affects how no. people prepare or play? Or I don't. I don't know if they do. You have to ask them. I'm talking for your team, your, your actual players. No, that's all I mean, I don't oh, okay. to do it, so I don't. I thought you meant affects them. If that's what makes them go, that's great. But if that's what motivates you. Kimbo, are you angry? No. Were you angry at the offense today? No. Just making points to them. I mean, they got to get because you can play extremely well and left a lot of plays on the field. There were things that should have been made and done. I mean, and were there to be made. I'm not angry, I'm just got to coach them, got to keep going. And is that the frustrating thing that, I mean, there were, you, you could have easily had, you could have easily had 35 points against Miami, you could have had that many against Miami. Exactly Wade. right. And, that, and that's the way you got to go. You just got to keep coaching and doing it. And we, we had a bunch of points where we were playing well. You know what I mean? You just got to get consistent. And I say, it's not the same guy, sometimes different guys. And there's guys, a lot of youth on that side. There's experience, but youth, and they got to understand. Just got to execute and do better. With that said, how have you seen Francois Maturin's over the- He's been good. His mental attitude and everything he's done has been really good. I like the way he's played with his toughness and made good decisions for the most part. I mean, you can't ever have the turnovers. I mean, he hasn't had many turnovers, but pick was a poor decision. Just got to throw it away. And the other one, he's gotten hit when he's thrown, but still it doesn't matter. You got to hold on to football. I mean, you got to try to feel that. For a freshman quarterback, done only three interceptions through seven games. He's done all right. Did better if he had none.